Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You have probably heard of a little web browser called Firefox. I still remember when uh, Firefox was first released. I loved Mozilla back in the day. Uh, I used Mozilla frequently enough, if only because it was probably the only web browser that I liked that had tabs. It was one of the first tab web browser out there, although uh, whether it actually was or not, uh, it's still a matter of great debate. There have been uh, some uh, third party overlays on top of Internet Explorer that uh, used tabs back in the day. Uh, Mozilla made it popular, and of course Firefox only propelled uh, the idea of using tabs inside a web browser uh, versus uh, various windows on the desktop. So I was a fan, uh, absolutely. Uh, and, and Firefox isn't really going away. Uh, I, I don't know if there's as many people using it today uh, compared to Chrome, which just recently overtook Internet Explorer uh, for the first time. Uh, Chrome is definitely gaining massive traction, and I'm happy about that because I happen to like Chrome. It's not perfect, but I love the fact that uh, you know Google's keeping an eye on things. They're developing cross-platform. Uh, there's a you know a very clean experience to be had inside of Chrome, and it's fast. I mean, generally speaking, they're optimizing for speed. You know, we've got true competition in the browser space. But I don't know if you knew this, um, Mozilla famous for Firefox, uh, is working on something called Boot to Gecko. It is a mobile OS designed for, what do you think, smartphones. Uh, it would go up against the likes of Android because it's it's not Android. Uh, and, you know, uh, you can take a look at the uh, review that we did on Boot to Gecko. It's on Locker Gnome uh, right now. It's, it's linked in the uh, video's description. Uh, we've got uh, uh, someone who, uh, I guess is a part of our uh, general contributing community, Eddie Ringle, uh, who took a look at the code, downloaded it for free from GitHub, and actually ran it, and it gave you his initial impressions, including a couple of screenshots. Check this out. Uh, and, and the exp explanation, and as he goes into it, um, he says that B2G, or boot to gecko and hopefully that wouldn't be its final name, uh, it says that uses the same low-level building blocks used in Android in order to reduce the burden uh, on OEMs to bring up uh, boot to get going new hardware. However, it's not based on Android and will not be compatible with the Android stack. So that's just something to note. So when you see these screenshots here that are also posted in the article, uh, then you'll have a, a greater degree of understanding. Okay, let me pull this over here. Can you guys see that okay in your screen? Do I need to turn up the brightness a bit? There we go. Uh, it's clean. Uh, that's, that, look at that, it, it, it uh, and, and Eddie made note of that, that also looks a bit reminiscent on the, on the right there, of, uh, the Chrome new tab screen, uh, very clean, extremely clean, and that's what I look for in any UI, something that's clean, because I'm going to be looking at it, I don't want it to be looking like junk, even if it is open source, I don't care if it just gets the job done, I want it to look nice. And uh, to tell you the truth, uh, Mozilla is off to a pretty good start. Uh, they may not have a final name for it. I doubt they would uh, ever go with something called Boot to Gecko in a commercial capacity. But what's interesting is that it works. You can try it right now if you wanted to. Eddie just tried it in uh, an emulator, which, again, you could do that uh, as well. Uh, and, and he thought the same thing that I thought. In his, in his story here on Locker Gnome, he said this is really the easy part. The difficult part is going to come in when uh, you, you go to find partners. People actually make these devices and sell these devices. And then what's more curious to me is, who is this going to be uh, competing against? Or, or what is this product going to be competing against? And I think this could do more to undermine Android's efforts, specifically because Android, oh, it's open-ish. Uh, you know, now you'd have Boot to Gecko, which is even more open. It's based on web technologies. And uh, using that as a foundation, I mean, we talked about this in the past, the you know, uh, web pages and web apps uh, really being the future of, of software, I mean, in the cloud. I mean, whether you're running those apps locally or they're, they're hosted remotely. Uh, you know, it was a very uh, interesting thing to read because I didn't think that Mozilla had come that far along with it so early on. Uh, they're off to a pretty good start. And uh, if you're an Android user, and you're an Android user because you don't like iOS or you're not a fan of Windows Phone 7, and, and you like open source, boot to Gecko, or whatever the project will eventually be called, uh, may be something to keep an eye on. This looks to be 
kind of nice. And think about it this way, more competition. It makes everything and everybody a better, uh, I guess, consumer. Buying devices, uh, you, you want to have some amount of choices in the marketplace. You don't want to just choose between one or two uh, devices. Uh, you want, uh, you know, some options, right? And uh, open source advocates should also love this story. Uh, and uh, Android advocates should also love the story. Despite them being Android evangelists, uh, boot to gecko may very well win over the Android fan in you.